Hey Dave Lacalio at Head Games Motorworks. Today we're going to talk about the BMW S55 CNC cylinder head from Head Games. Keep watching. So the Head Games S55 head has actually been around for six years. So you're probably wondering why are we seeing it now? Well, now we have a machine. So before we would send everything out, we sent this particular cylinder head out to somebody who had a plate already for a CNC machine, got them to digitize it. And this way we just got a report and uh, that's how we did a lot of things for many years. And now as I said, we got our own. We still had the head that we used for digitizing and we're gonna be able to show you all that now. So this is the OEM port. You can see, I don't know if you can see it all. Now here is the hand port. Uh, I am sorry if you guys really wanted to see me hand port this thing. I, if, but I don't think that, um, we did it so long ago that I don't think it'd be worth putting it on YouTube. Um, but here is the hand port. And then this is the CNC port that was made from our hand port. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to digitize the hand port. We don't need to digitize the CNC port. We need to get some of the features that are in this. Let me show you the exhaust. Here's the exhaust port. Looking snazzy. So that's the uh, Head Games hand port right there. And uh, this is some um, Casting issues, you'll see that once in a while on these heads, these are not super good for casting flaws. What I mean by that is uh, core shift. Anytime we have core shift means the CNC only knows where the head's supposed to be, not where it is, but you can see like this one cleaned up. See all the ports look different. This is part of the reason why we, we go back in there, we blend them by hand because there's no reason to have all that. But uh, so here is the hand port and uh, let me show you the combustion chamber. All right, so here it is. Combustion chambers are, I'm gonna show you a stock one in a second here, but you know, this is the hand port. This is what I did by hand. And then uh, this is the digitized port CNC'd. Um, and then this guy, obviously he had a bad day. This is why we got this head. And uh, now it's actually very common for these things to have issues because the spark plug sticks out pretty far and they actually crack from here to here and here to here. And um, never had a problem with them though. They've never leaked water, no seats have ever come out, made 1200 horsepower, no problem. But it is an issue with this core that you really can do nothing about. And here is the OEM. You can see there's lots of hot spots, very, very rigid. Um, now, a lot of this is for DI. So if you guys are not going to run port injection and direct injection, this is not the, you, you wanna keep this stock chamber. You don't wanna go to the CNC chamber. You see here, look at that. Look at that shit. So that's a big thing that we can change is how much is shrouded with the valve. Now it might work for the DI, but if you're gonna go port injection and direct injection, you just, this is a, a way to pick up some power because you can put some more timing into it and you can bring EGTs down and this thing will be much happier. All right, now it's time for Matt to chuck this thing in the CNC and start digitizing.
To say that this head was easy to get in the machine or do anything with would be, uh, I'd be lying to you. This thing has been very, very difficult for Matt to get through and uh, part of these issues, let me, let, let me show you. So we're using an N54 plate. Now it has the same bore size as the S55, but we had to open this up because the dowel pin is different in a different spot, but also because Centroid leaves everything very, very, very close to the bore diameter. So what Matt did was he opened this up and made this all open so that way we didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Then we tried a port and the machine crashed right here. So that part crashing down into this part and that's because now Centroid gives us the geometry of this plate. It tells us how thick it is and you work off all your geometry of the rest of the cylinder head off this plate and they gave us the wrong information. You can see here where it was rubbing, uh, started rubbing and then of course, now this is, look at that nice tool. Yeah, well, this is what we ended up with after the rubbing and it crashed into the plate and now this very expensive tool had to be replaced. So I'm gonna pass it over to Matt. Matt's gonna show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. All right, so up top here, we're looking at the stock N54 plate. You can see that all the chambers are actually enclosed on this, and this was preventing us from actually digitizing the S55 chamber. So if we look down, you can see how we modified the plate. We took out all the intersections between the chambers and we actually opened it up by an eighth. Uh, the blue lines are actually the tool paths coming around and this is how the mach machine actually cut this plate out. All right, so what we're looking at here now, we got the plate in here just for your reference, but this is the timing chain cover that overhangs the intake port. You can see I built out some surfaces to be able to better model this feature in here and get us into the port. This is going to be your valve cover rail that overhangs the port on the intake side. And on the flip side, you have the valve cover rail that overhangs your exhaust port and your timing chain cover that protrudes past the exhaust flange. So the machine and master cam are gonna utilize all this collision data to be able to keep the tooling safe from these areas on the head. So you can see just how close the tooling is coming to our modeled features. And I try to model everything a little bit over just to make sure that we're safe. But you can see that this tool comes down right between the valve cover rail and that timing chain cover. And it necks all the way down, gets all the way into the port from this side. And at least as modeled, it stays clear from everything that is on the cylinder head. So this is the area that you just saw modeled out. You saw this feature come out, up, and out to your valve cover rail, and the tooling was actually sitting in this area going to cut the port in the program.
right, boys and girls, this is the S55 straight out of the CNC. I am pretty stoked about this, finally bringing it home. Uh, it mostly cleaned up. You can see all along the floor, the roof, except for this guy. So this guy and this guy did not clean up. You can see here all over the floor, I'm sorry, the roof. Um, looks like a little bit on the, f the floor. Everything's cleaned up. Let's take a look at the chamber. Combustion chambers are looking schnazzy. Man, look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh my God. I just love when the plan comes together. Uh, so they're pretty cleaned up. I mean, you can see like little spots here that didn't clean up, but I would not worry about any of that stuff. I think we're good to go. They blend perfectly into the valve seats. All right, let's take a look at the exhaust. And the exhaust is pretty cleaned up. Pretty cleaned up. I'm pretty happy. I know you guys, it's a little hard to see, and I really can't put a light underneath of this thing. Um, Maybe we'll take another look at it before this video ends, or maybe not, I don't know. They, this video is getting a little long. So here is the ports, and all of them pretty cleaned up, I would say. And I'm looking through a lens, but you, there's like little uh, little spots that didn't clean up. But other than that, I other than that, I am super excited. Now you'll do notice that the divider is sharp and that is going to change so what we'll do is we'll go in there and we'll just blend this in with a grinder and um we'll just blend it in and make it make it just uh flat but um more on that another time somebody hit me up today said they want to see a video about that and i think we should all right so this thing is all done and ready for guides and a valve job and this video is done for today so if you guys want to see what parts that we install in this cylinder head be sure to comment below i would love to do a video on it it's uh it's not the norm be sure to like subscribe comment below i would love to hear from you toodles